Hello there, my name is Jacques Cass, and I am here with last week's race winner, David Rudiman. David. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Are you dealing with an upset stomach? Sometimes when I eat too much kale, you want the peace of mind knowing that when you've got to go, your pipes are ready to go. Here's my card. I specialize in septic tank drainage and line cleaning. When that kale erupts in your gut, will you have the necessary facilities for your needs? I live in a fucking barn. I'm already in costume, but whatever. Be sure to go down in the comments and leave your driver interview suggestions for next week's video and come back next week and see if your comment got selected. Also, like the video if you ever want to ride a donkey. It's my life's goal to ride a donkey down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Just seems like a pipe dream. I don't know if I'll ever get to do it. I hope to one day. Like the video. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Roots, and welcome back to NASCAR 2011 DLC Career. It honestly feels a little bit odd not saying season. All right, so I put it in a ponytail this week. I got a rubber band back here. I missed a few strands of hair, but it's not that bad. It's definitely making the back of my neck feel better. I'm learning how to be a proper woman. So last week, we started our career mode with the Danica. She made her debut. Uh, we made our debut together. Lock and key. And boy, did we have a hell of a time. We saw more airtime than Neil Armstrong. That's the astronaut, not the bicyclist. Wreck after wreck, flying through the air, all four tires off of the ground. It was a scary friggin' race. Somehow we came back and finished seventh at that thing. Late race restarts caused by the AI put us into overtime. And I thought that Jet Dryer Montoya had the damn thing on lock. Well, guess what? He even decides to make a freaking pit stop under green. That opened the damn door for a whole bunch of us, but Roto Rooter and Sideburn Fever were able to leave off with it, and we weren't able to do anything with them. The only thing that I had done to me was I got fondled by a hamster. That piece of shit does not know how to treat a lady. So after one race, Roto Rooter, of course, finds himself atop of the point standings with Sideburn Fever in tow, Candy Cane in third. L and John in fourth, and the boo frowns out the top five. Scrolling through here to see who currently sits in the chase after only one race. It does not matter at all who's sitting in these spots as we speak, but I might as well tell you it's fun. I learned via y'all that this is the wild card format. Now that the game actually plugged that into this, I have absolutely no idea. We will find out in 25 weeks, but it's we're, we're gonna go with that sort of mindset. This bitch that wouldn't give me an autograph back in 2008 has the last spot in on points, but actually, in reality, the last spot in on points is Mikey Walnuts because nobody down 11th through 20th has a win yet. I'll continue to scroll through and show you where everybody wound up. Jemai in 28th, he cannot win the championship this year. It would mess with the numericals of the Eutechnic Saga. There's there's, there's everybody. Chef Boyardee, bad run. So today's Phoenix, Arizona, where they drink way too much Corona. The Danica is ready to win. She won one friggin' race over there in IndyCar. That's not enough. She is so freaking talented. She deserves a hundred victories. We're gonna work on getting her another Eutechnics victory here today. I'm gonna go and hug a cactus just because I want to. I enjoy the pain. Let's get this video started. Let's go! Oh, so close! Time for NASCAR to duel in the desert as we visit Phoenix International Raceway. I'm Doug Rice along with Mark Garrow, ready to bring you the call of the Subway Fresh Fit 600. It's flat, it's one mile in length, and it's another track that Jimmy Johnson practically owns the keys to victory lane. And some of the other guys that have been able to break through in a big way here at this place, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Gordon, and Mark Martin. 375 laps, 600 kilometers as we go racing in Phoenix. Thank you, Doug and Mark! That just doesn't roll off the tongue the same way as, thank you, Daryl, I missed that guy. We're underway with the first Phoenix race of our farewell you technic saga season. Great qualifying run. Jeff Gordon Ramsey, step aside, Buster, I wanna leave. This game has absolutely no right to be as freaking pretty as it is. 
the graphics, and let's give a call back to old Phoenix. I miss this Phoenix, mostly because Jemai was freaking awesome here. He dominated the crap out of this place. He walked so Steve Harvey could run. It's a good, good Phoenix, and it's if uh, they should never have done what they did to it. I miss having grass in the infield. Anyways, there was something that I wanted to say. Oh, I remember, I remember from that introduction. 375 laps, 600 kilometers instead of five. This was the one year, fastest lap, bitch! The one and only time that Phoenix was like, let's make our race. 602! The Coke 600 doesn't need to be the only one! I remember this race was long as fuck! Just Jeff Gordon Ramsay and I so far. Old man Bushy there sitting in third. Maybe are we gonna actually have decent qualifying runs for a change? I won't have to fight and claw and scratch and claw from the middle of the pack up to the front anymore. Wow, whoa, we're having quite the battle up here at the front. Jeff Gordon Ramsay and I beating and pooping and bagging. Still can't get him though. I like this AI so far. It's a little bit challenging, but it's a race. It's not like I'm just able to steal a damn thing and drive off with it. I'm always looking for something like in the middle. I don't want to be dominant, but I, also, do not want the crap beaten out of me. Sometimes on these Eutechnics tracks, all the AIs, they all get out their ugly sticks and they start beating me with them. And then I wind up looking like this. We're looking at another 13 laps of fuel. The tires so far are looking okay. I don't see that they're turning a little bit red, but not too red. They'll probably be more red by the end of the 13 laps. You can make it to about lap. 21, so that's not halfway. We're looking at a couple of pit stops. We're still in the era, remember, of leading lap means bonus point. So any point we could get is a good thing. I would like to lead a lap before too long, fastest lap again. What will take this lead, and we will lead next time by. In the Danica's head, this is how her transition to NASCAR was gonna go. But oh, it was so much worse. Yeah, there we go, there we go, got that bonus point. So I think the vast majority of you guys, pretty damn hyped that the series was back for one more send-off farewell season. That makes me happy, because I'm very excited to be doing this, and I'm very excited not to have that hair on my neck anymore. How's the ponytail hanging up? I have a hard time letting go of things. I know there's gonna come a point, well, obviously at the end of this, there's gonna come a point where I have to say goodbye, and I just can't keep it going forever. I've had so much fun, though, running this Eutechnics saga. And I don't want to think too much, too hard about nine months from now, what it's going to be like to say goodbye. I'm just going to try to savor every race, enjoy each episode, and I hope you guys do the same. Trust me, it was put into consideration doing seasons of the Wii versions. There ain't no fucking way. Here I was thinking that I was going to have a hard time because for the very first time, I'm running all these races without any assists. Back in the day, I used to run like some, I didn't use full blown, but I used some because I just wasn't very talented. Now I've turned them all off. And I thought I was gonna be doing a lot of wreck. You should have seen me trying to exit pit row. So I'm pleasantly surprised. You know what, why am I surprised? I am freaking gifted. Jeff Gordon Ramsay coming back. He won the last, right? He won the last race. Oh, oh. He won the last race on this configuration of the Phoenix. So he's gonna be someone we gotta look out for. And I just realized it wasn't only one race that they did the 600 kilometers. It was 2010 and 2011. My B. Well, he just pitted. He looked, he took one look at me and he saw the anger in my eyes. And he was like, oh. I get enough of that at home. I ain't putting up with that. Whoa! Why? I got a blowout. I got a. I blew out a tire. It wasn't showing any stuff. I thought that those tires were gonna get way more red. I had no idea. Well, this is a learning moment. You gotta be fucking. Now I'm gonna lose all my goddamn. You're, you're, fu you're double fucking now. Who the hell did what? I'm liking the AI yellows, but not at my expense. Hit the pit road. I forgot him. What are you doing? What was that? Bish made my pit stop exit look great. Yes, please. Tight. The car is fine. It handles fine. I just don't know if we took damage. We took some damage there on the left. What happened there? If you were to bump into that with your, like, thigh, you'd probably need a tetanus shot. How the... Are you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just got a handout. 
I got a freebie. What y'all doing? Yeah, you guys ain't getting this preferential treatment. Damn ratings are gonna be through the roof. The way that Danica is dominating. Oh, what? hey, 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 hey. It just didn't want to turn. It just kind of took off for the wall right there. That caution might have saved my ass. I probably was standing to lose a ton of time. And now I can't turn the damn thing. Now it is plowing tight. It's either plowing tight or I just don't know how to drive it yet. Suddenly we have more fuel in the tank than, <laughs> okay, than we had we were able to hold before. It's like they don't fill it full of fuel at the initial start. Then you make your pit stop and you can fit a few more laps in there. It's kind of weird. It's only able to make it like 13 laps for now we're up to 19. Scratch that, down to 17. It fluctuates. Yeah, it, I don't, uh, unless I'm just driving it differently, it feels tighter. It feels like I can't keep it around the bottom the same way. There's just something different about it. It's pushing off the bottom a lot more than it was before. Now I got Giggles Logano. How did he? <laughs> I'm gonna take second away. I wish Connecticut would have kept you. He took that personal. Where's the fucking yellow? Where's the freebie handouts for Danica now? It only took me fully burning it down in the Phoenix, Arizona dirt. And I didn't, I didn't. Why the hell couldn't they have just had us? Okay, you wanna make a pit stop after the replay? After the replay, let me make my decision if I want to make a pit stop or not. Ah! Welcome to Michael Moves' mid-race report presented by Gas Can Water! Could we? No, we couldn't have made it. We, oh, wow! I thought I was going to loop it. We couldn't have made it to the end if we would have made a pit stop there. I can't, I can't turn the damn car. It suddenly plows! We did something to the car. It made it super mega tight where I can't make the speed anymore and it's pissing me off! And I got all this track position that I gotta make up somehow as they're all freaking single file, not passing each other. What a great show! Do I still feel confident that we are gonna make some sort of rebound and get back into this freaking thing? Yes, I do have the confidence in that. It's just gonna take a lot of doing, it's gonna take a lot of focus on my part, and it's gonna take a lot of wreck of foot. It's apparently Scott Speed or is that thing? That's Vic's vapor off. Just got set. I like how the AI is willing to give each other the shaft. That's gonna make for an interesting year. We will rebound, we will fix this car up on the next pit stop, and I will win this race. This has been Michael Moves and Mid Race Report, presented by Gas Can Water. Last week, I forgot to say that. I forgot to close out the Mid Race Report. So I guess it was still ongoing into this week. Friggin' teammate double A batteries looks like he's having just as good of a time as I'm having right now. Slower than the slowest slug on the bottom of the seafloor. You thought slugs were gross in real life. Well, wait until you see one on the bottom of the ocean. It's like a regular slug, except it's 10 feet long and it glows in the dark. I'm seeing some red starting to form on those right side tires. I really don't want to blow out a tire again. Pretty sure we had like two laps of fuel left when that tire expired. So I don't probably want to push it that far. And I'm just not going anywhere. So I'm going to look to pit here shortly. I've lost ground to my teammate up there. It doesn't serve any purpose staying out here much longer. Actually, it might. If I can make it three more laps, I could probably make that my final pit stop. I've got to try. It wasn't that horrible. Yeah, I lost time, but it wasn't that bad when I blew out the tire before. It's not like I just was set spinning or anything. They're all pitted. They're gonna have to pit again. If I can push it a little bit further, even if I lose time because I push it, they'll all have to pit again and I won't. It's not a fuel issue, it's a tire issue. How far can I stretch? I can't stretch them any further, but I'm gonna make the decision, the executive decision to run one more lap on three wheels. Well, technically, actually, it's still four wheels. It's three tires and one rim. Uh oh, what are you? On pit road, I'm hitting the pit, I'm hitting the pit button. What are we doing? My teammate, my teammate took a dive for me. I don't know what it was that I just witnessed. I don't know, but round of applause, double A batteries for taking the big dick up the ass for his teammate. Oh, we gotta loosen this puppy. Our second blowout of the race, and yet we might find ourselves in the friggin' lead. Look at the size of that. 
Look at that wrench! Oh my god, I'm gonna take that home with me later. And I'm not talking as the Danica, I'm talking as myself. I, I would like, I could do a lot of things with that wrench. Tighten a lot of things. Also stick it up my ass. Pretty regular restart, nothing stupid happened. We've got the fuel to make it. Do we have the tires to make it? That's gonna be right on the edge. We could, you know what? It's, okay, you got it. I got, here's my right. Oh my shit! He's still pissed! Wow! He's still pissed about Connecticut. Bruh, I didn't even, I, I didn't even mean that much. I just meant like, I didn't want you around because your laugh annoys me. That was incredible, bro. Are we gonna be in the back? All right, all right, all right this game is chill. It's like, all right, you wreck, but you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. I see who's next to me. I see who's next to me! Yeah! Wait, Jumai, Jumai! Jumai trying to get in the middle. He, he doesn't want to see this fight because he's such a nice guy. Oh, shit! That was like the end of that movie. What was it, Stand By Me? He tried to stop some sort of fight in like a white castle. He tried He tried to get involved. And then I think he got stabbed in the neck and, and he died. Jemai was that character. He got stabbed in the neck and died. But he's still here. Why did I fucking die? I paid him back. I did it. Holy, that was a gliding hamster. You've heard of flying squirrels. Have you ever heard of flying hamsters? That was remarkable. I don't know why. The Danica, okay. That was pretty fucking cool. The Danica doesn't pay back once. She pays back twice. Maybe even sometimes thrice. Giggles Logano, you got one coming. Giggles Logano can wait. We got a race to win here. I got engine. Oh, man. Oh, we got a lick of engine damage. Are we going to have even the speed? I don't have the speed. I think we're going to be like... Watch your tail. Slow. It's tight. It's it's not turning because we got a lot of damage. We got the transaxle damage. We got the engine damage. Somehow I still got the run coming out of that corner and I beat Giggles Logano senseless. I gotta beat my rival though. I don't know what I get for it. If I get like an extra shamrock shake the next time I go to McDonald's. Oh fuck, the engine damage is killer. It's absolutely ruining any any we don't got a race anymore. We got a survival. The double O. Wow. Roto Rooter. Backing up his run. Backing up that win. I am slowing down everybody, bro. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Drive out of it. Drive it. Drive out of it. I kind of forgot how to speak there for a second. I'm drive out of it. Things were looking so positive. And then Carl's Jr. had to go and do what the hell he did on his pit road exit. I was in the air again. The second week in a row that all four of my wheels have left the ground. Do I pit? There's gonna be like no time left. That is pretty cool. Well, we're not going to. I'm, I'm telling you, there's absolutely no time remaining. And we saw when I lost my track position, I wasn't going anywhere. We need to just like throw some bumpers, throw some haymakers and get some people up out of the way. This car is beat to hell. Like many of the early the Danica race cars and the NASCARs, it was rough being an engineer having to work on them shits Monday morning. Oh my God, I am doing everything. Everything I can, get the fuck off the front of my truck. That killed me. That took more away from me than what it gained. We got a rivalry here though to win. I want that Shamrock Shake, it'll match my car. I don't think wall pops exist anymore, so I don't really got to worry too much about that. I hope we don't blow out another tire. That would suck. They're driving away. It's, we're done. It's either 10th or no. You're my team owner. I am a part of Junior Motorsport, and this bitch thinks it's okay to boop me. Come into the white. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to get him back. Yeah, yeah. Battle of the most popular driver this year. He still thinks he's gonna take that 11 spot. I want first no statistic. Actually, I don't think I'm getting there, man. This engine is this engine's bad. I'm not even gonna go full send because it it's not gonna benefit me one iota. He dominated the second half of this damn thing. We're gonna take a 13th. 
It could have been a hell of a lot better than that, I tell ya. Oh, that, we left something on the table there. I probably didn't need to pay Hamster back that second time. Yeah, probably. The first one was enough. That second one is really what sealed the deal. What put that butter in the biscuit and just assured us of not being able to contend anymore. We'll take a scroll through of all these bitches. Uh, 17 car dominate. I mean, 22 laps. That's, that's about a third of the race. Kubu ran second, third, like the entire race. Giggles Logano, you got one coming next week, Buster. And David Roto-Rooter. Very nice backing up of his Daytona's 500 win. Steve Harvey rounds out your top five. We, uh, we lose the rivalry. We end up in 13. We had the fastest lap. We really could have done something there, but I'll scroll through here to show you where the hell uh, everybody, jump I still not running well, and uh, everybody else, where they all ran. 25th suits you right. 31 car was up front at some freaking time. I, I, I don't fucking remember that, and um, that's everybody. <laughs> In 2011, he won the Daytona 500. The next week, he went to Phoenix, and he finished in last. I remember. So we're going to continue on with our stupid little series here. We're going to do driver credentials. We'll keep it in order so I actually remember. So this week, it's the one car of Jamie McDouche, his factoid. Jamie McDouche was named Rookie of the Year in his first full NASCAR Sprint Cup Series season in 2003. You know what happened also in 2003? That was more impressive than that. I entered the third grade. Take a peeps at the points after two races. 24 races left until the chase. We bump up to fourth. Oh, we, wait, what? We led laps of the day because we finished seventh, but we led laps, so I think that put us up to fifth. So we bump up to fourth because we got a, we had another bonus point here today. It is very nice. Jeff Gordon Ramsey, another bonus point. Roto Rooter continues to lead the way. Katie K jumps up to second. And here is a scroll through. Damn big old jumps. And currently, since there are no other wait, no, where's the 17 car? We gotta find the 17 because he's not in the top. He would displace Bushy Bushy if the chase started today. Bushy would be out, Kansas would be in because he has a victory, and then any hamster would he would take the other wild card. Yeah, look where your favorite driver sits after only two races. I mean, a lot of stuff can change. A whole lot of stuff is going to change. There's gonna be a lot of people dropping. There's gonna be a lot of people gating. Uh, Tony the Tiger, 35th in points, that's gonna change. And then you got Chef Boyardee. I don't envision him running 41st in points all year. Steve Jobs! I was close. Well, folks, that is going to do it for another episode of NASCAR 2011 DLC Career. Next week, Viva Las Viagra. Seems like this is coming up an awful lot just here recently. Las Vegas is just the happening spot to be for motorsports. Thank you guys for watching. I love every single last one of you. Thank you for allowing me to continue this series and continue to do it. I've been at this for, well, just on YouTube. We've been doing this since February of 2016. I've been doing this series since May of 2019. That's a while ago. It's because you guys keep coming back and supporting what I do that I'm able to continue it. So I thank you all very, very much for that. I will see you in the next video. I'm going to peel this thing off of my head and see how sweaty my forehead got. Goodbye!